Fridays are our favorite day of the week for so many reasons, but one of them is because we get to hang out in our Southern Union State Community College kitchen, whipping up something yummy with Ryan from Cork and Cleaver. Ryan, you warned me you're not a chef. I am not. But I, I got a feeling you know what you're doing. I figure it out here and there. <laughs> so what do you do with Cork and Cleaver? Well, I'm the owner of Cork and Cleaver as well as, you know, Coosa Cleaver and Bubbly Hen as well. Uh, today, I'm here cooking pork, uh, braised pork cheek tacos. Uh, unfortunately, our chefs were a little busy today, and I had to they're, fill they're the gap for them, but <laughs> they showed me how to do it, so we'll, we'll figure it out. If, if you meet someone and they've never, ever been to Cork and Cleaver, how do you describe it, and what would you recommend? Well, I would say we're upscale Pope Fair. Uh, very, most things are thick and hearty, but we do have a few vegetarian items. We have some salads and you know, a few lighter dishes on the menu. This one is kind of a mixture of nice and balanced. You know, it has a little bit of the cabbage and you know a little bit of light things, but obviously pork cheeks being braised is going to be a little heavy and have a deep, <laughs> well, manly kind of taste to it, if you, for lack of a better word. What What do we have over here? Well, basically, I just have a head of cabbage and, and some already shredded red cabbage. Just going to cut that up. Basically, not really make a slaw, but just some thin sliced shredded cabbage. You know that sort of stuff. Just trying to. Uh, like I said, not really a true slaw, but you know, just kind of a, a nice texture. When I talked about that lighter flavor and giving it just a little bit of vegetable to it, um, you know, adding that in. Now, is this something folks can order right now? It is. We actually just did a menu change. Um, we took a few items off and added a few things in. A nice seasonal menu. We did. We did kind of a seasonal menu. So the pork cheek tacos came in. They really are nice. Uh, I have to give Chef Brandon Morrison. He's the one that actually came up with the recipe. Unfortunately, not able to make it today, but you know, his <laughs> recipe. You got great. him covered. He, he did about half the work. We've already uh, <laughs> started roasting off our vegetables for okay. our uh, salsa verde. Um, that has uh, green onion. Uh, uh, excuse me, not green onions. Green tomatoes, yellow onions, garlic, jalapenos, things of that like that. And it's already roasted off. We're going to do toss it here in the blender in just a second. Whip it up, and then that'll be used in the whole taco station. So you blended this together already? Yeah, yeah, just pretty much it. And like I said, this doesn't have any sauce or anything. The sauce is going to actually be the very day when we get okay. to it. So just basically taking that, doing that for a second. Let's uh, see if we can get this in here without spilling it all over the <laughs> countertop. What else is on your seasonal menu? Well, well, we added a cheese board, which has been a popular dish among people we just in general. At Everyone a lot of loves restaurants a I go board. to. It seems like that's one of the things. We, uh, uh, we added a lobster and shrimp pasta, um, kind of a little different than one that we used to do, uh, a little more refined. We're using, you know, actual live lobster and making a base out of that. Um, trying to think of some of the other things we have. Never used this blender, so it's hard to get that lid on there. I would say I can help you there, Ryan, but I can't. <laughs> this is a uh, complicated question. There we go. We figured it out. That's good. See, you got it. <laughs> Well, we'll just have to finish blending that up. Looks like it's going to take a minute. We'll take care of that here in just a second. But yeah, sure. we, we just did a few different things. Uh, we, we're doing lamb chops a little differently than we did them before. Um, lamb chops is a popular I'll tell you one thing we really are selling well. We, we did an armadillo dill egg, also uh, Chef Brandon's recipe as Really? Well. And it's a stuffed jalapeno with cream cheese wrapped in pork sausage, wrapped in bacon, smoked in the smoker. Comes out, we kind of slice it nicely. It also comes out in, uh, we have a little hearty mustard, you know, with that Why as well. Why is it so. important to switch up the menu? Well, you know, number one, as an owner of the restaurant, I think more about dollars and cents. So, you know, something's not selling, we're going to want to try to find something that we, we think might sell a little bit better. But not only that, you want to change things up because people might get tired of something. It might be a great dish that they like, but sometimes you want to bring in something new to try to inspire new people to try your thing. You know, in the world of social media, you post a dish, somebody sees it, they've never had it before, they want to come try it, things of that nature. And even your regulars like a little variety, they right? They do, they do. You know, we, we've already gotten a couple of nice compliments, you know, from some of the regulars that have been used to eating the same thing for a little, little while because we've been a little bit since we did a menu change and they really like some of the new items that we brought in. So. We're happy with that, that's for sure. So what did you what did you throw in the blender here? Because well, it smells good. Like I said, it's going to be the salsa verde. Again, it's, it's green. Uh, all of his roasted vegetables has already been roasted off when we brought them here. Green tomatoes, yellow onions. You're not supposed to tell them that you brought them here. It's the TV well, magic. You well, did it in the TV you magic. You did it over here. Well, <laughs> we roasted them over the open Perfect. fire. Perfect. Thank right you. Here. There but, you go. Uh, I, I get you. I get you. <laughs> Unfortunately, we had to do that. Uh, we don't, this is a nice kitchen, but not that nice. If you know what I'm <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, put it all in, blend it up. Like I said, I'll bring it up in just a second, and we'll get next. The next segment we get to, we're going to talk about 
the actual braised pork cheeks and what we had to do to braise What's those. What's the seasoning here? You got oil? Uh, we just got a little oil for the pan. That's just going to basically help us reconstitute the meat whenever we you know, mm -hmm. reheat the meat in a minute. We got cumin and salt, all of that. I've actually got to throw that in the blender. I kind of so, forgot. See, there you we go. I knew I'd be a good helper here. Hey, we got to put a little bit. Of <laughs> I may not in be there. able to work the the blender, but I can help you a little bit. Hey, it took me a minute to try. That's for sure. So a little Perfect. salt, and again, just kind of try to hit it. Let's see if we can get it. It smells good in here already. It's definitely coming along. I think we about got the right consistency. Maybe push a little what bit. What kind more. of do you, do you want it fully blended or just a little mixed? A nice smooth. You don't want it too chunky. We're gonna have chunks in it. The cabbage is a little chunky. Gonna have a little texture. The meat we're gonna thick chop, so it's gonna have a little texture to it as well. Where's the radish? Obviously, the radish will have a nice crisp texture. And then we got feta cheese that's going to go on it as well. So that's really going to give it a lot of different textures. You want the sauce to kind of be smooth and easy. All right, Ryan, I'm going to let you get this blender going as we head to the break.